Today, Kevin and I have two Trader Joe's items to try for you. This is the chocolate raspberry swirl. And I have the okie dokie non, uh, oat non-dairy frozen dessert. So the okie dokie was $3.99, the chocolate was $3.49. Uh, and we're gonna be trying the, the chocolate first. So this is, uh, it's chocolate raspberry swirl, chocolate ice cream, and raspberry sorbet. It is 16, uh, a full pint, um, and it's, let's see, three servings, two thirds cup, 128 grams, it's 230 calories, or you can eat the entire pint for 690 calories. That's that is bad. not bad at all. Sorbet seems to be a little lower calorie usually. So. Yes. And I don't know, have we had a sorbet mixed with chocolate oh, ice cream? I mean, maybe, I don't, I don't remember. It's very soft. It looks like a, almost like a soft serve. <laughs> and I like the colors. You get a brown with a, the pink. Yeah. yeah. You can see the texture difference between the two. Sorbet is very smooth. The ice cream kind of, it's kind of layered. Mm. Actually, it goes really well together. I'm gonna try just the chocolate. That is exactly what I was gonna do next. I wanna try. Uh, no, I've got plenty right here. Plenty of just chocolate. The chocolate by itself is kind of dark, but I think it would almost have to be to compare to that raspberry because the raspberry is so so strong. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, the chocolate ice cream, though. It's a it's a decent chocolate ice cream. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I really like the raspberry. The raspberry is my favorite part, though. Uh, you and I both like sorbet, sorbet, and we don't buy it very often at all. No. But we both really enjoy it. I love the texture; it's so smooth. Mm-hmm. The flavors are like bright and punchy. Mm-hmm. The chocolate's kind of a like I said, it's kind of a darker darker chocolate, but but I almost think it needs it to match up with that raspberry because it's really strong. The problem is though, if you run out of raspberry and you're just left with chocolate, I don't I know that I would really enjoy eating just the chocolate by itself a lot. Kevin doesn't kind of buy dark. chocolate ice cream though. It's, so. just, it's just too dark for me. If it was a little um, sweeter maybe. I, I like the chocolate, just don't expect it to be like the richest, most wonderful chocolate you've ever had. But it is terrific with the raspberry. Yep. And I don't know, they probably already do package that raspberry by itself. If not, they should because yeah, really good. I could eat an entire container of that raspberry all by itself. Yeah, it's it's the best part of the two. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, and but they do work well together. They do. Yeah, they it do. goes they well really together. Do. It works because I I wondered, you know, how well it was going to work together sorbet with the ice cream. It does. It's yeah, it very really very well. nice. Yeah. yeah. So that was one I would totally get again. Yeah, and I pr think the price was good on both of these. Yeah, and the calories are decent too, 700, 690 for the whole thing. Yeah, uh, I just, sorry, moving stuff around here. Okay, this is the Okie Dokie Oat Non-Dairy Frozen Dessert. It should have been Oat Kie Dokie. Oat Kie Dokie, ha ha, O-A-T. It should have been Oat Kie Dokie. Um, a New Zealand inspired dessert with caramel swirl and sponge candy bits hmm. uh 260 calories for two-thirds cup or 770 calories for the container i hope they're meaning sponge candy like i think with the remaining like like, the, like almost like a whipped up brittle kind of like a like crunchy bar yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like, i hope that's what they mean yeah we're hoping it's like a crunchy bar that's that's what i was thinking um okay you do see a swirl mm -hmm. looks pretty soft I mean, we had had them out for a little while, but not a long, long time. Yeah, a little bit of a swirl. Oh, not tons. Well, I definitely want some of that caramel. This the swirly part. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, mine's got a little mm. crunchy bit. In there. Mm -hmm. It is the the foamy kind of candy, but it's gotten wet. And it's, so it's kind of collapsed a bit, so it's not quite as fluffy as it would be. Honestly, I don't care for the ice cream itself, though. Mm -mm. I think it's just the oat. 
It is. Um, uh, yeah, I like the caramel. I would pick all the caramel and the candy pieces out of yeah, it, I and then too. throw the rest away. I mean, it tastes like if you ever had a bowl of ice, of, of ice cream of oatmeal, and you would just eat the wet part without the oats, right? Like the liquid part, right? That's what that kind of tastes like. Yeah, it's just. Um, it's a little too. It's plain. Too od for me. It's too plain. There's not enough going on in it. It kind of just lays there. Yeah. Now, um, if you get the if you get the crunchy pieces, at least adds texture. There's really not a lot of flavor even in the caramel, is there? Um, I like the caramel. I do too. I but do there's like just the not caramel. a ton of flavor compared to the other parts. And the caramel has a lot of sweetness, but where you're getting the most sweetness is those. Uh, I'm trying to look for more of those hard candy pieces. See if I can. I, and I don't see anymore. Um, the where you're getting the most sweetness is from those hunks. Of, yeah. Little, um, what do they call them? Honeycomb or whatever. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It, that's what it tastes like. Is a like a honeycomb. Um, but that and the caramel is the best part of this ice cream. Oh my um, <laughs> Yeah, because the yeah, like Kevin said, the oat part. It's it's it, there's just not a lot there. No, I mean I know if you have to have this kind of thing where you have to have the oat and not have milk. Um, then it's it'd be okay for you, but yeah. I'd yeah, you might. Uh, you know what? If you're if you don't have any other kind of, uh, of choices, this is probably you will probably really like this. And I do think I would get used to that. Yeah, it's just kind of. Yeah, it, it, I would get used to it because you would make the caramel last, or you could make those little pieces last and not try to eat them first like I did. Um, but I, I don't think it's bad. It just wouldn't be my choice because I don't have to eat that way. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I don't. I, that yeah, that's just not a choice for me. Um, but that chocolate and raspberry, I don't know if it's out all the time. Uh, when we found it, it was well. We went to Trader Joe's it was before <coughs> Valentine's Day. So when I saw it, I thought. Did they put this out for Valentine's Day, or might is this be. available all the time? It might be available all the time. It's but good. Some of you go to Trader Joe's constantly, so you'll know, is that available all the time, or was that only out for yeah. Valentine's Day? But if you Day? get just the raspberry sorbet, that's the best. It's wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely. That's better than the, the combo. If yeah, you get I'll, the combo, that's fine, but get just the just raspberry. Just the raspberry. Yeah, I totally agree so i will have pictures for you at the end and thanks for watching